This is the moment I live for, and I know it's the moment my clients will never forget. It's the moment the client gets to see their home for the first time. This is after we finished building the home, and now we've also furnished it. We welcome you to see what they see when they arrive, and this is the reveal. you. It is full of drama and demure attitude and that's exactly like the client. When I met them for the first time they had on black and white. Even the nails were contrasting black and white. This gal is glamorous and I needed to answer that in this entire space. I think you can feel it and you can see it. It's in the textures, the metals, You'll notice in this home, we have the contrast of black nickel and wool and fur and light wood floors. This house is intended to be glamorous. So you'll see those details as we move through. you to notice the massive dining table and the cool factor of going light and actually painting the white oak so you can see the texture. It's all about texture more than color. You can also enjoy this fabulous big double-sided light fixture that we made custom and look at the length and height of the ceiling. practical side matters, but these chairs, though they're comfortable, are so cool because the leather goes all the way down the leg, and I love the cool stitching. Remember, it is all in the details. This area is intended to stay very natural. We bring the limestone from the outside in. As always, we want to pull from that exterior and bring it inside to warm the home. We nestled two ottomans underneath in case we needed end hostess chairs at the dining table. Now, here's the secret to this kitchen. We wanted it to be comfortable. We've located a sofa amongst our entire kitchen. Why do we do that? Because you can't get people out. So invite them in and make it cozy for them. You can be prepping and chatting. You can share your kitchen experience and make it cozy. This island is the story of the house. You can see the drama. This represents the woman I met that first day. Lots of contrast, lots of drama, and then we peacefully echo with a much softer themed marble and countertop. You can see the dry and the shiny. It's important that we create that contrast. This is polished and the main island is honed. It wouldn't be right if they were the same. It's your eye picks up these details that allows you to feel something in a home. I love walking through this kitchen, hiding the fact that this is our refrigerator and just locating it easily here at hand in the kitchen. But this house isn't just beautiful, it's practical.
We all want a house that isn't just beautiful. We have to have practical, and that's why all of our ovens are located easy at hand adjacent to the island. We also have this hospitality area. In every home I do, I try to create a party bar. It's an area where you can easily grab and go. And when you have guests visiting, you set out your coffee bar or your Italian sodas and you make it inviting. A butler's pantry is a must. If you can fit it in your home, I love that we switched to a dry mat lacquer here and just used interesting hardware. to the main gallery. This is kind of it. This is where you feel the energy of the home. Looking down the hallway, you can see we added black plaster on the walls and beautiful artwork. Looking down the hall, you can see we've added artwork, huge in scale, and beautiful plaster black walls. I love the drama of looking up and down this hallway. Centering up in this spot, we have the cool factor of the light fixture balanced with the interesting wood paneled ceiling. That's one of the coolest things in the house because it goes from inside to out. Ooh, a touch of smoked glass. Yeah, hard not to point it out. This is a wine cellar. The rest of the gallery is filled with large-scale artwork leading to the guest suite. Sometimes ceilings can be a little high. Now, that's never a bad thing, but every once in a while you want to feel cozy in your space. This is a bedroom where the ceiling could have gone forever, so instead we dropped the ceiling, which is called a cloud and we used LED lighting to create a soft sanctuary vibe. The drapes, of course, are really just to warm the space. The idea is to add the drapery rod and just hold the drapes here, never covering up the beautiful views outside. Take a look at the bathroom. You'll see that no bathroom should be alike, that there's always a gesture of cool factor mixed with usability. Come on in. Attitude. We tried to answer to the scale in the space with the massive vanity, but of course we didn't want necessarily to fill it with sinks. So you'll see we always opt for one sink in, in preference for having more space to work on. And why not have a little area to sit down and do your makeup? Over here, you'll see we've engaged the tub. So the look right now is a lot of freestanding tubs but in my mind, they seem a little loose in the space, so we like to ground them. You can see how it's interjected into the beautiful marble slab material, which of course enables you to have a bar of soap and some shampoo. You can see how we ran it all the way in and it became the shower bench. Also important is to consider doing what we call a flush entrance into the shower. This allows for there not to be any kind of curve that you have to step over. It's also cleaner and more modern. I love the way the shower incorporates a window just high enough to be private. I think one of the 
things that distinguishes my interior design is the fulfillment of an art package. Um, people are generally a little nervous about selecting art and also don't always have a handle on the size or the colors that work in their home. I tend to work with colors that are a bit grayed down, subtle, but I do like color. And I've mentioned this before, but I, I love the ethereal nature of these soft champagne pinks. I feel like I live better when I have a little bit around me. And of course, I always wear it too. But your homes need to radiate a feeling. It's not always about a scene or a place you've been. Sometimes art just conjures up warmth, naturalness, and fluidity. And to me, that feels right. When you make your beds, remember, keep it simple, not too many pillows, and always a little off-center and not the typical. Here's the deal with closets. I don't always want to walk into a closet and have everything in sight. I like it to feel a little bit like a dressing room. So I would prefer to have the closets in the bedroom partially and also in the bath. In this house, we were able to do both. Look at the mirror on these cabinets, plenty of room. And we didn't have to walk into sort of a dungeon. One of my favorite things about bathrooms is the opportunity to use cool factor. And in this case, it's all about the lighting. Now we don't wanna to look too many places, so if I've popped a pendant like this, then I want the rest to feel a little quiet. Looking at this vanity, we went again with the single bowl rather than the typical two bowls. And also this countertop has a very interesting edge detail. This is called the restaurant edge. Why? Because at the bars and restaurants, when you spill something, they don't want it to roll off. Try something a little different on your countertop edges. We didn't want to go for glamorous hardware here because look at our faucet. This is black nickel. This is that new color that I'm enjoying. But notice the mix. Oh my gosh, these lights are massive. But when you think about it, I have to drive up every day and I get to see something right through this glass. This was critical that it talked and it does. Whenever you can, choose to have double doors to your master bedroom so that you have this sense of openness because you go in and out all day long. I love it on the main floor too. This master bath is fully luxe. It has all the details. We've moved the bed forward so that you can appreciate this amazing view. The mood in the master starts here. Look at the details on this wall. We brought back in the dark plaster, added these gorgeous trims of brass, and dropped a cloud so that we could have LED lighting all around the space. Of course, a beautiful fireplace, but the focal point is right out the windows. You can look all throughout this mountain and the golf course, oh my gosh. Obviously, we needed to pull the bed forward to appreciate these views. The bed is intended to feel saucy, a little demure, quiet, and luxurious. Notice the detail, one pendant here and a lamp on the other side. Those are the kind of rules, again, I like to break. 
Of course, a luxurious Chase Lounge in case you just want to hang out and look at this crazy good view. A little detail for you to observe. Not every piece of cabinetry needs to be bold and dramatic. In this case, we wanted to ooze the cabinetry into the color of the walls, but we wanted some detail. And that's when we decided to add the steel vertical pieces rather than the typical. The feeling in the space reminds you of this Buddha painting. It's tranquil. And as a woman comes in here to take a bath, this is the first thing she'll see, and this really meant something to our client. the drama has to continue as you move into the master bath. We added drama with black marble right under the tub as a platform. There's no issue with doing that. And these days with the freestanding tubs, it can get a little boring. So think about adding a platform. And also in the shower, we dramatized all of our beautiful faucetry that's on an outside wall by bumping out a thicker wall made of marble, leading all the way up to the ceiling to this basically car wash above your head. In terms of vanities, we went with a more practical quartzite material and included the sink out of the same. This is an integrated sink. It costs a little bit more, but it's so smoothed out and delicious. And of course, complemented by the black nickel with this matte finish. I love an LED glow, both in the top and the bottom. This bathroom is meant to also feel like a dressing room. It all happens here after she leaves her adjacent closet. Let's go see. You can see the shoes. We've got leopard boots. We've got red boots. Got metallic shoes. She's snazzy and I love it. Come on in. You should feel a sense of luxury, a sense of simplicity in these kinds of closets. Not a lot of color in your face and pattern. Instead, you've quieted it down and that encourages organization. What's so cool about this closet is the laundry room is right next to it, making it very easy to lock and load. You can see that it just leads right from the master, master bath, master closet, and then your personal laundry room. I love creating these special hanging rods. We all need to dry our clothes, but instead I like to hang them from the ceiling and of course introduce an interesting metal like brass. Also in this space, we wanted it lighter, of course. And instead of doing regular upper cabinets, I like mixing it up with a little opportunity for personalization. Here's an idea. Instead of putting your theater downstairs in a dungeon back and far away, why not locate it right amongst the action near the family room and the kitchen? That way it's easy to eat and drink in here and flow in and out. It's kind of hard to get people to go to the theater, so just make it easy on them and very inviting and cozy. Also, it doesn't hurt to have a wet bar nearby. We wanted this to feel very, what can I say? Saucy, yummy, inviting, and cool. And all of this delivers that.
Okay, this kitchen delivers. It has drama, it has interest, but what we didn't want is it to feel cold. So we wanted to nurture it with a lid that sort of cozies us up in these very tall ceilings. This is called a cloud. We added the black plaster and trimmed it in steel just to make it a little bit darker, richer, and feel good while you're cooking in the kitchen. Now, when we first meet with a client, we have to get to know their story. So we spread fabrics, tiles, wood samples all over the tables in our office and see what they're drawn to. That's how we figure them out. And this right here represents the favorite things that they picked. And from here, we developed the entire palette. And I think we scored. Finishing a room of this scale starts with drawing it out in CAD and figuring out what kind of spatial relationships there need to be. We have to have space around to walk. We need to be comfortable and these days we look for sectionals that have openings so it's not backs everywhere. We want to feel breathy as we look to the front door and not have anything in our way. All of this furniture is very Italian style. It's still comfortable, but it has architectural lines rather than curves and soft edges. It's a little crisper and very techy looking. And then the fireplace has got to deliver as well. There's drama here, but we create it more in the length but not the whole firebox, because if we did, it would be way too hot in here. So you can extend your narrow modern fireplace by using steel. And of course, I love a hearth that you can sit on in case more people were to come over. Now let's check out the office. consistency in a home and we've created that with the use of limestone carrying it from the outside smoothly to the inside and then we decided to contrast it with the steel again picking up on the steel we've used in the firebox once again when we get into the office you'll see we picked it up with limestone one more time some things should be simple and repeated in order to feel united through your design I don't know about you, but when I go into my office, I want to feel a sense of relaxation. I don't want to be cooped up into a traditional space. So we added comfortable chairs that swivel, interesting custom furniture designs like this one with a sliding door, just to add interest, and a custom desk full of brass detailing, even on the grommet. We always like to make sure that the desk is large enough and then partner it with a credenza, but we don't want anything predictable, as you can see from this cool light fixture above. As you can see from the accessories I've used in the home, I believe in accessories, but there can be too many. So every once in a while, walk through your home and eliminate. Look for things that have interest, like this architectural shape on the lamp, simplicity, like a beautiful handmade bowl, books you might actually read or look at. Not too much, but meaningful shapes, things that matter. Now this is where the magic happens. These doors open up all the way to this beautiful vista of a golf course and this huge back patio. I mean, this is living. Come on out. This could be 
be ridiculous. This is the way to live. We've got massive amounts of patio, chairs, and then a glass railing so we can just see right through to these golfers. I don't want to distract them. Wow. When it comes to great design, it's all about the reveal. Every client has their story. Thanks for sharing this one with me. I'm Anne-Marie Barton for The Reveal.